Hi guys, this is DMNC. Welcome to our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to the bell icon. Roger Taylor and Brian May wanted to laugh at the first time Freddie Mercury sang for them. The Queen musicians met at college in London in 1968 and the drummer and guitarist were originally in a band called Smile with Tim Steffel. But once the bassist and singer decided to leave, their friend asked to step in. Roger recalled, he was so extreme one was tempted to laugh at first because he hadn't developed his voice. He didn't have the control he had later. But he had this trusting energy and zeal for everything. And really a massive array of hidden talents. We were big pals. We had a stall in Kensington Market and he was so delightful just great to be around with a tremendous lust for life. He sort of invented himself. Roger used to play guitar but gave up the instrument when he met Brian and was blown away by his talent. He recalled to the Daily Telegraph, I just thought wow I had never met anyone with Brian's facility. It's a natural born gift. The 72 year old drummer thinks chemistry between the trio and bassist John Deacon who joined Queen in 1971 was key to the band's success. He said we were a gang, very tight knit, the whole thing was greater than the sum of the parts. We were very lucky with that chemistry. Fred had an incredible faith in us and our path. As he would endlessly say, talent will out my dears.